is Kaylin Fiore. I'm a junior at Fairfield University. I live up at the townhouses. This is my townhouse, and I'm going to take you inside of it today. So normally, you would swipe in with your little handy-dandy stag card and put your little code in, but I'm not going to do that so you don't know my code. We do have a doorbell. Okay, this is the kitchen. Um, I will preface, a lot of houses are really differently laid out depending on how many people live in the house. This is a six person townhouse, so we have three doubles. There's also five person townhouses, so you have a double and a triple. This is the kitchen. As you can see, there is more than enough space. Tons of cabinets. We have cups and stuff in here. We have seasonings and spices and all that good stuff in there. Uh, different things all around. Right here we do have a fridge that came with the house. Um, fridge is a little bit small, given the amount of people. I'll let you see our freezer so you can see just how packed it is in there. It is like a, like a puzzle getting stuff to fit in there. We brought the toaster oven, we brought the Keurig, the microwave came with the place, and then we brought the blender. So this is pantry of sorts. You can really use it for whatever you want. I know some people that put pots and pans in here. Behind you um, <laughs> is the bathroom, which is really nice to have the bathroom downstairs. A uh, toilet and a sink, especially when you have six people living in a house, you want more than one place to use the bathroom. And also, when you have guests, we don't have to send them upstairs, which is super nice. Um, this hook did not come, <laughs> did not come with the place. Uh, we put it in specifically for masks, as you can see. We also do have a um, coat rack, coat closet, I should say, in here. Just a quick quick glance in there, you can see there's a shelf, um, and then this rod for hanging jackets or anything like that. This is the main area. So it kind of functions as half dining, half living room. So this is actually two tables. We brought the tablecloth. It came with all chairs, which was nice. Um, six chairs for six people. That's a little cart that we have. We brought that. We brought this chair here. It's nice to have extra seating in addition to what they gave us, but all the blue couches that you can see were um, with, with the place, which was nice. Um, we brought this, uh, what do you call this? An ottoman. Yeah, we brought this ottoman. Um, we just keep games and stuff in there. We do a whole Wii right here. We brought the TV. And then we got this stand at Marshall's for like $15 or something like that. These lights, those lights we brought, all the decor pretty much we brought. This cork board is attached to the wall. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's Nicole. And Let's go. Yeah, they, they actually, they've both been on my channel. I don't know why I said you were the first, because Nicole and Christina were on my channel last year. Okay, bye. Bye! bye. 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 Okay. It's always a time. Living with six people, always something going on. There's always someone to keep you entertained, I'll put it that way. Um, this is a basement. I don't know why I knocked on this answer. It's locked. Um, that's it. It's a basement. And you're not supposed to go down there, so don't go down there. A thermostat, which is nice because we can control our own temp. I'm going to put it down because it's a little warm in here. Nice, lovely tapestry, which actually, fun fact, this tapestry is upside down. I was very busy when everybody was moving in I had already moved in early and I left this tapestry just like around for them to hang up wherever they wanted to and they put it up upside down and I haven't told them. They don't know. So if they're seeing this now, now they know. Not that it matters, but you can tell because this is like the artist's signature. Mm, and if you go upside down, it says TM. So, <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> chairs, uh, some lights, nice for nighttime, um, and you can see it's a shared space. So we do have neighbors behind us and next to us, which is fun. 
but sometimes it's a little loud. I'm not a big porch sitter, but some of my roommates are. Christina, Nicole, uh, Gab mostly. Up the stairs, so there is a bedroom down there. It's a double, like I said. This is a closet. We should keep some toiletries and whatnot in there. Um, another bedroom here. And then this is my room, slash Gabby's room. We get good sun, but that means the temperature is always a little uh, hot. This is the closet. It is like everything shared spaces, so we just did a half and half, works really well, shoes on the bottom, this nice space up here. I have a lot of clothes <laughs> and a lot of shoes, and so the fact that I can fit all of this in here is just really nice. So this is my desk. <laughs> um, desk is pretty standard, all the desks in like all res halls, living spaces provided by Fairfield are pretty much the same. Um, we have this little drawer here three drawers here. I just keep all my stuff. Got books in there. Art stuff down here. That's my favorite drawer because it's all the creative good stuff. I brought this cork board with some of my happy things. This is a note from my mom. Dresser. Dresser. Right? You'd call this a dresser? Mm -hmm. um, four drawers, which I found is more than enough. Um, all of them are pretty filled, except for this bottom one's kind of empty. But there's a lot of space, much space to go around. I brought this. This was my Easter board. This is art for my friend Miles that I decided to hang up. Um, shout out Miles Kowalski Art. And then the bed obviously comes with it. Uh, most people do mattress toppers on top. This is my little setup. These are my guys right here. Um, <laughs> I take very much pride in my interior design style. Um, a lot of pinks, yellows, sometimes a pop of green, orange, um, yeah, that's Sunflowers by Monet, for all those of you that know Monet. Uh, and then we have a nice little Be Kind poster, this is um, Ducks as Ghosts. I love Ducks, for those of you that don't know, Hannah made that for me, thank you Hannah. Under the bed I have a ton of different storage, so I have this three drawer cart thing that I've had for all three years, which has been very, very helpful. I do have this trunk, which has the ability to be locked. Yeah, I mean, there's enough space. You can see there's even some empty space in there to keep my like luggage and bags and stuff for when I go home. Um, I also did bring, what is this called? Not an extension it's, cord. Like um, a power, power strip. Power strip. I brought a power strip because you can never have enough um, outlets. Uh, we have a little fan, just because sometimes it does get a little bit warm in here, although we do have AC. Uh, this is my roommate's side. She has all the same stuff I do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the rooms. This window, while it is beautiful, does let in a lot of heat. Um, so it's nice to close the blinds sometimes, but it's great views. You can see a good amount of the campus and sunsets um, are absolutely beautiful. Hi. <laughs> okay, so this is the bathroom area. Two sinks, which is very nice. This towel rack uh, came on the wall. Same thing downstairs as well. These little whiteboard things, which we have many people sign all the time. I should fix it. Whoa! They, they do open up, so that's where I keep all my stuff. So we did bring the garbage can. Right here is the toilet. We did bring the trash can that's in there as well. Uh, there's a shower in here. Shower, obviously, and then there's some shelving in here that came with it. And then down here is another towel rack. Same thing in the other one. Um, we do have a closet right here where we keep most of our towels and toiletries and all that good stuff. But the townhouses are only available to upperclassmen, technically juniors and seniors. Most seniors, however, do not live here. A lot of them live in other buildings on campus. We also do have other townhouses, the Barnyard Manor or South Townhouses are not to be confused with these ones here. There are a lot different single rooms, uh, laundry in the unit, a little bit newer and nicer. I have a feeling there are a lot of 
prospective families and students watching this. So if you are here to make a decision, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you want to have more in detailed rooms of what your room might look like your first year and your sophomore year at Fairfield, Angie has some great ones on her channel, so I will link those somewhere for you to check out. Um, and I also have a feeling that a lot of incoming juniors are watching this video. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you. Again, any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments or DM me, text me, whatever. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in once again. I do appreciate it. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Um, and I'll see you in two weeks. Those of you that don't understand the reference is because Jesus died and then came back. So he's like, oh, you only live once. Like, I'm here again. So I thought it was funny. Anyway, she's <laughs> holding in her laughter. See how funny it is? What's in behind you? It's the shower. Under the shower. Oh. So there are two showers. I should fix it. Whoa. They, they do open up. So that's where I keep all my stuff. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah.